Hey everybody, it's Drumstick Gaming, and I'm about to face my into the wall. Anyway, hey everybody, it's Drumstick Gaming. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Black Version. In the last episode, we um we finished up the Soul Star Tower and uh beat most of the Mistalton Gym, all except for the leader, which is Skywa. Which we're going to be taking on this episode. I probably betting that. I am going to start off with some Pokemon, but I'm not. Well, eh, let's just see. Anyway, let's go and talk to her. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Did you enjoy flying with the help of the Stalton Gym Cannons? They're my pride and joy. This time, let's try something else. And I cannot decide what which accent to give her. Jeez. <laughs> Do 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 music once again. do 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 And first she's gonna sound Spruback. I think this has air slash and hard stamp. Maybe a track, I'm not sure. But I started off in China because of Charge Beam, which is auto type and super effective against flying types. That was a really good move. And oh! Ow. Crap. Crap. That is not good. Okay, good. I get the special attack ways. Or boost or whatever. I have a match with the power channel like you. It feels like a bug on air. An assurance? That's gonna do crap. If I can get the special attack boost again. Okay. I will be able to knock her out next turn. <laughs> okay, so put Swoobat, not too hard. Good thing because my special attack is plus three, I think. And do, do. This guy was about to send an I fought one of these earlier. That should be different depending on whether female or male. The one we fought earlier was male. So that all that red stuff around it. That is not good. So we can one shot this thing. Thank God. Good. And as you can see, as those two were three. three. No, I need to really stop dropping my camera. Okay, can the camera just camera? Okay. Some of you are all forty. Oh, we were getting up there in levels. And Swallows so started with my all thirty-five, but and yet it is still not a challenge for me. Nothing has posed a challenge for me ever since. Quay's gym. Smash the last Pokemon, but I won't give up hope. Air Slash. Hopefully that won't flinch. Oh. Okay, seriously. One miss is okay. Two misses is just inexcusable. Come on. Just hit it. And it is water flying type. It is Evolution Duckwood, which I mentioned earlier on the Triple Drawbridge. And we beat it. Not too hard, but I still had a little bit of hot difficulty due to weird misses. So I didn't flinch once. Being your opponent in battle is a new source of strength for me. Thank you. I don't think of wine oh no. Um, you're an amazing Pokemon trainer. My Pokemon and I, I are happy because for the first time in a while we could fight with our full strength. Strength? That isn't strength. <laughs> uh, this official league gym badge, I think it will look good on you. I, I'm thinking, nah, I'm not even gonna try anything. <laughs> Okay, so we beat her in four minutes. Not bad. Jet badge from Skyva. Model 70 obey you. And we get the team for Acrobatics, which is a fantastic team. So that means we need to teach it to our traps if we don't want to fly. Pretty technical move, but sure you come soon. By the way, is that for which now on the way to your city? Team Plasma, is that the name? Anyway, they were heading for the city. What kind of people are they? I think she says the same thing. I'll show her again. Um, it helps keep and jump and fine, but it's a really challenging walk. What's up? Make sure you have for it. Oh no, it's in. I, I forgot about this. Um, this, they may say it's for understanding one another better, but what trainers really use battles for to compete, and they hurt each other's Pokemon. Am I the only one who finds this? Terribly painful? Whatever, I'm going to talk to you, Pokemon. I've been knowing Pokemon since I was born, so it's easier for me to talk. 
but then they're my people. Because Pokemon never tell lies. So that line is kind of creepy. Um, hey, Mancharna, would you tell me what kind of trainer Wook is? He does this with the first Pokemon in your party, by the way. Um, okay, okay, got it. So, Wook was born in New Raymond Town, was his mom's skin, the Pokedex start off a journey to see the world. Still, this Mancharna trusts you for some reason. Some reason? That's good. If every person in Pokemon cared about one night, like you two do, to watch over the future of people in Pokemon, without having to liberate Pokemon from people, just use them. Just using Team Plasma to search from Special Stone, the Light Stone, Dark Stone. These stones held the essence of the two legendary Pokemon. I said that when they lost their physical form, they fell. And, wow. Um, they fell into a slumber and were transformed. And now they wait for the whole survival. So, resurrect your legendary Dragon type Pokemon from one of these stones and become its friend. Then I will show the world that. Then that will show the world that I'm here. And will follow what I say. I just saw a dialogue. A vision is to change the world without using force. Trying to change the world by force will make others resist. If people resist, that ones that will be hurt. But the answer Pokemon used by force trainers, you understand. Pokemon are not just tools for people to use. As a result, Pokemon trainers, you care about one another. Like you and your Pokemon will be separated. That does make my heart a little. Bye, Ian. Uh, it set you the whole world and booze my soul. I don't even know if that's the right lyrics. <laughs> so let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon up. Um, yep. Can I get in the Pokemon? Do 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 do. Shoot it, be dee 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 dee. Ba da ba ba na 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 na. See again. Okay. Now there's one more thing we can do in Salton City, and that is this. Uh, can I get indoors this episode? Jeez. Now you uh talk to this guy. Wow, a jet badge. You want to get Skyler? Okay, I'll tell you something cool. We left a treasure at the end of one way. You have to talk to him for this to be true. By the way. Now. Uh, get around him, get down here, and here is where the treasure is. We found a team for Aerial Ace, which is a pretty good team. Always sets six power. Yeah, it's fine type. Oh, you found our treasure. Found it. Just kidding. We don't have Pokemon, so we plan. Just kidding. What? So we plan to hide the team until we got one. But it would be a waste, so here, you can use it. We'll get another one for Sky. Why didn't she give us two TMs? You, you can use it. Oh man, that's hard to say. <laughs> you can use it. See ya, bye bye. Nice, nice kids. Or whatever, I don't know. <laughs> um, so, our next destination is Twist Mountain, which is out to the north of here. And can I get on the wedges? Here, up here, okay, put that down on me so I can Oh, a bow. Got a low battery remaining. Got to hurry up and finish this episode soon. I tried it, not battle. And the guy. I'm gonna change my party around a bit. Actually, uh, done. I'll give Archie Ops the lucky egg. Actually, I'll give Fungus the lucky egg. Fungus hasn't gotten some screen time in a while, so... Heck, hasn't really gotten any screen time since... It nice that thing on Route 7? That's Jim Bell. So, we're here at Trist Mountain. Um, I'm going to end this off a little early. But that is because... I think I want to split this episode into two parts. So, see ya next time. But before we do that... <laughs> let's go up here. 
Guess who it is? Surprise, Red. Rook. Since we both have the jet badge now, let's see which one of us is stronger. Next time.